also against his own teammates. I'm going to make a bold statement. Okay, I do not care what happens this game. Nothing that happens in this game will convince me that this Legion Commander hero is not straight hot trash. Okay, so he goes 20 and 0. On top of this hero being straight hot trash, he has to play into what has got to be one of the worst matchups in the game in Undying. Because you blink duel and he tombstones. Yeah. And you stand there and wonder why you didn't pick another stun off later. There were some options there. Well, uh, Game of Gladiators, it seems like everything is prepared to go in their favor. They somehow got extreme. They tricked Extreme Gaming into picking Legion Commander. They got four bounty runes to start the game. I mean, things are clear. Go straight to a game three. Unless XM has something to say about it. This this will either be one of the biggest stomps of all time or one of the greatest games of Dota of all time, but there is no in-between. This is a game either way you will be telling your children about. Because XG are tempting fate. They have had some crazy drafts this tournament. Some of the craziest, I think. They have picked heroes nobody else is playing. They've played heroes everybody else was picking in ways that they refuse to. But this... Has science gone too far? I think the funny part is XXS hasn't even played this Legion Commander, which is thir his third most played hero. Oh, he's good at it. He is very he is good. good at it. Yeah. He hasn't played it for seven months. So obviously the I, man agrees. I wonder that why. The hero's trash. It's just so strong he doesn't need to practice he it. He hasn't That's... been regularly playing it since Riyadh. Oh, this hero has. He has too many problems for me to go into right now, but we'll just see what he can do. As I said, I think Undyne is like the worst matchup for this hero in the game in terms of supports. Uh, the, the only other one is like white, Winter Wyvern. More hit? But Winter Wyvern at least doesn't body you on the lane. Undyne bodies you on the lane and in the team fight. It's, yeah. So you can duel the Undyne. You know, you can maybe duel and like arrow some guy and, or just go in an egg on top of a tombstone. I don't know. We'll see. I doubted XG last game a little bit. They showed me I was wrong. Yeah. So I will no. be excited to watch this Legion Commander accrue 400 damage and make me look like a fool. I look forward to that too, honestly. I honestly do as well. Yeah. Tombstone going to be dropped. Blood Grenade goes out. Dagger. Super slow to XXS. Regains some of his movement speed. Shin Q covers him by killing the zombies. Walks it off. Get back to the tower. Still no first blood. Man, big tombstones to survive. And I don't know what the hell is going on mid, but it ain't pretty. Ten denies for Cardell here. Oof. And Quinn is getting bodied. I actually don't like this Void Sphere pick. I know why they did it, because you get this Void Mag. It's like the one backline jumper that can use in power better than almost any other hero they would have picked there. But I actually would have preferred the Storm suggestion, because I think that should help. Void Spirit is just... He's exposable on lane, and then he's slow and he falls behind, and then you have to play that sort of game where if you would pick Storm, I think he would have done better versus almost anything and still giving you that instant jump arrow chain. Yeah. If that makes sense. So I think you give up some tempo for like a bit more scale, but I don't know if you needed it. Now it is like Hero Quinn is very comfortable on, and this Mag Void is very powerful, and you still get that arrow combo off the jump mid hero. So it fulfills everything in a sense as long as you can get out of lane. But so far, this lane is proven a bit rough. That's the power of the XM Sniper. He puts you in CS Jail. Makes you answer for your crimes. Yeah, he's killing it, man. The only time he had, like, when we when he's been on screen is that he's missed CS and we got a little bit of bad luck with the headshot. He just gave up. Three CS to deny a water? Is that worth it? Uh, well, it's worth it if he actually, huh. you know, twists Quinn into a spot that he really needed that uh, water rune. But right now, Quinn looks pretty healthy. I think he could have played that sequence better. Like, played up on Quinn, dragged the wave, wait for Quinn to walk for the rune before he denied. But either way, they deny both water runes from Quinn. That's a big win for XG overall as the Rubik killed the bottom one. They're going to run that Void Spirit out of regen. And he's just getting bullied top by Ame here. 
This is looking like a strong lane phase for XG despite losing four bounty runes. Yeah. Which uh, says something about the draft that they set up for themselves, right? Yeah, the, the lanes, is, is, they are strong for them outside of that Undying Legion. And this is this is gonna get to be a struggle. Losing that water rune is tough, and will pay off here. For the CS he sacrificed. Radiant I'm surprised Quinn has nine denies though. That is honestly pretty good. He's at least maintaining close XP here versus the 17, the sniper. Is that gonna be enough to burn him out? Tombstone dies in the bottom lane, but uh, yeah, Ace does get burned out by the fire spirits in top lane. So finally we have our first blood for the game. Extreme continuing to establish laning phase dominance. Damn, the fact they couldn't find this kill with two tombstones with those blood grenades and dagger is, is not what Gaiman were looking for in that lane. And it's, it's giving X access a lot down here. Now the PA is free farming. Well, this is not some oh, destroyed laning phase gaming are going to run away with here. Yeah. And that first blood going to Ame, he is happy to collect that. <laughs> Did he just skewer him to push him away from the range creep? I think that's what that was. That's pretty funny. Is it a problem Radiant the PA is free farming? I mean, it's got to be a good answer to the Sniper. I mean, I'd rather sacrifice some PA CS to have my other two cores here doing better if I'm gaming, but PA can do some work this game. If he gets fat, he just gets to his items. You jump the Sniper with a BKB. You know, you can duel to try and prevent that, but in theory, you might just burst him down with the other jump coming through. He can easily assassinate these two supports. It's a strong PA game on paper. Terrorblade matchup, not the best for you, but honestly, you get Broach later. We've seen that matchup just be whatever. XM's been playing the lane without Trapnel this entire time, pretty much. And now he finally puts it to use with the Siege Wagon, so he wants to push in as quick as possible, start chipping away at that Tier 1 tower. Still no 6 for Quinn. Very close. Dire structures are fortified. A little fork for some extra damage, prevent that 6, and he'll run away. Backs off at the right time, right as his support was rotating in. And right as that read. that jump comes out. Would have died there for sure. So, strong lane phase from XM. Seen this before. Opens up a bit of a gap on this Void Spirit. Not Huskar level, but solid. Very solid, you know? Like Red Bull Racing in an F1. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know First this, but like Avery <laughs> looks at me a lot of times in these conversations, so I know something is coming. <laughs> and I you know Red Bull is a solid team, but I mean they're a liquid team. They're but, not champions. You know, okay. Under attack. Okay. Something just built better. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Well, thanks to uh, the lanes going well, I expect the supports to have pretty high levels on extreme gaming, and they certainly have supports that really benefit from getting their sixes. They're up 2k, and they lost four runes. I don't think I've ever seen that. Usually, that is just a death sentence. A death sentence. Like, I'm not... You remember the game we oh, saw earlier this tournament? Who was it? Shopify lost four runes or somebody? And the game just imploded. It was over by like 10. Yeah. Losing four runes is huge and competitive. It's but if you have set up for winning lanes, like sometimes the runes don't make a difference. But then you would expect maybe the game to be even. Sure. Like you're winning lanes, but you're fighting against the runes. You also had this undying legion lane that I think was supposed to do better than this. Yeah. Especially with the Rubik support who can't really help early. They just didn't find those tombstone kills. Yeah, the legion's farm is not that far behind the PA. I don't know, man. XG, they're just... They're just executing better right now. There's no way around it. I think maybe the bar is high for Gaiman. We expect a lot from this team coming off their last season. This tournament's been a struggle. They've spoken about it. You know, frustration. Mm -hmm. A lot of losses. Maybe they feel like they shouldn't lose. And sometimes you're in that pit. I like that Ace used that metaphor. You know, they're in a 
They're in that pit. They're in the, uh, the deepest pit they've been in as a team. In the hole. I've been there. You know, I've dug those tunnels down in in the abyss, in the pits of despair in Dota. Mm -hmm. You see other people down there. You wave to them, and then you <laughs> you move on. It's dark down there. It's not fun. You think you've wasted your entire life on a video game. Well, the funny thing is you got out of that hole and then just climbed into a different one. That's, that's right. Welcome, welcome to casting. That's right. <laughs> I got to the top. I said it's way too bright up here, and I go back in. And that's sometimes what happens to you. You get used to it down there. That's the risk. You don't want to stay down there too long. In gaming, they, you don't want to stay in this hole. You got to start climbing out. Yeah. Who do you, who do you think uh, they see in the hole right now? Well, I, I think... I think Liquid might be waving back. Yeah, I think. <laughs> At least for this event, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, my old friends Liquid. Here to greet me once again. Better question would be, who did, when, when you were in the deepest hole, <laughs> no, we're not, who, did, not, who did you we're see going, there? We're not answering that. That's <laughs> Who did toxic. you wave, wave hello That's to? That's too toxic. We have an elimination game here, Austin. Focus on what's in front of us here. 2K Gold Lead has been stabilized for gaming. And they're going to shrap no mid and push it in. This is uh, quite the move. I feel like God, we're seeing more and more of this play where the carry just... It, it, uh, carry Terror Blades especially. Just move to mid and take that tower. Man, this is aggressive. He just oh, tanked arrow. it. Tank Cardell! Think he intended that? It sent a message. Said I'm not afraid to get a little bloody. I mean, interesting move from Ame. This is not a move we see him make a lot this tournament. I wonder, I mean, they just had 10 minute catapult. XM probably said they can't do anything. Just rotate, we'll get a free tower. It's not that efficient of a move gold-wise, but it's one of those moves that pays off in terms of map control and makes Quinn feel really bad. Yeah. I mean, I think it pays off particularly well anytime you have a mid laner that can spam out the, the wave. Yeah, it makes push that. Push it in, and you could just... So the sniper could just shrapnel exactly. mid-wave and then just go hit Ancients, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's a weird place for Gaiman to fight around, and not an area they're used to losing that pressure in. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the team back, that but... rotates both supports for every power rune? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not used like, to Like, now they have to make this smoke, but, you know, who shows mid if, to prevent this lane going in deep and giving info? There's just an undying mid now, and... Are you going to hit anything here? You should be able to hit this. XXS. Tanky boy. Missed the remnant. Is it still enough? It is going Whoa. to be enough. But they had to commit some heavy resources for it. Quinn is guaranteed dead. They might be able to. No, everybody else. I don't know if he's happy with that, man. No, I don't think he's happy at all. Like, this is supposed to be a game where you want the Void Spirit to be strong. And I don't think it's a game where XG care too much about the legion getting set back a bit you know there's there's no like crazy legion timing you have to hit here yeah it's like whatever this guy's gonna hit his blade mail blink dagger at some point if anything it might be one of those games you know you pick it to have press the attack for your other course and like a interrupting duel when Doraccio goes in more than anything no, i don't think it's necessarily has to be a legion for them that goes around and just slays everybody yeah for sure for sure definitely like something that has maybe a little bit more utility value out of the duel than most other games you would see. Yeah. Biggest one being protecting the egg. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And XM will push another tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. He makes this early game sniper look damn good. Yeah. He also doesn't have to do a lot of the damage in the duel because he has a sniper, right? Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah. I mean, I think ideal situation is you duel this PA with the blade mail, and then you make Gaiman kind of commit the tombstone in this RP while the PA is getting dueled, and then the PA is not killing other people, and you're setting up the fight for your other two cores. Yeah. And then at that point, you don't necessarily care if this duel is in some insta win duel. And even you got in that Centaur situation, right? You could you could have the supernova on top of that. You oh, just yeah. kill the tombstone. He comes out. Supernova explodes. So Extreme Gaming, knowing that they hold all the cards right now, asserting their dominance, pushing into the enemy jungle, taking control there, taking the bottom tower, and Ame is just living a solitary life up here. He's making another move. Life. 
another move into mid. Where is Tower's it? gone. Where is he going? He just wants to go steal some ancients? Could look for the wisdom rune deny with an illusion. I think he's going to be a little late for it. Yeah, he is. He's just stealing some camps. Okay. No fear. Not afraid of anything right now. And there's no vision on the map, really, for game. One Ob's bottom. This is going to be that Blink Legion smoke. They have Star Storm stolen as well. I feel like this Legion got way too good of a start. And he's going to find something here. You, you're not anywhere close to that Tombstone save. You don't have the HP to tank him right now. Good window for XXS to, to build some damage, find some good targets. Wisdom Rune is still there. Didn't take it. He didn't take it. That is so odd. He's going to get picked off oh, by the duel, no. and they're going to take the Wisdom Rune. And they got Skewer, which is pretty fun. XG got everything they wanted and more. Top tower has fallen. I don't know who he was holding that for, but... Me neither. Again, I go back to like the small things here. Costing Gaiman a lot in these games. Now, they do have Duraccio free farming. Now, you got that going for them. Benefit of that bottom lane. Maybe XXS got more than he did, but you have an absolute free farm PA in a mag PA game. Yeah, yeah. That does mean something here. And we have seen some crazy PA games at this tournament. Though I have been told by many analysts that if you shut down Ace and Quinn, the ratio doesn't matter. So, yeah, I've heard that. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That's why Ame rated him a B tier carry, isn't it? That's what Ame said. That's so, the just if he, that was just probably the game plan. Game. Who cares if he free farms, guys? B tier carry. I'm going to out carry him. <laughs> That'd be so funny if that if that was the game. Ame put that in as their game plan. Guys, Duraccio is a B tier carry. Let him free farm, shut down the other lanes. Radiance bottom tower is under I mean, you joke, but I, I have heard stupider strategic ideas <laughs> in my time. <laughs> you would be surprised at some of the game plans. You're going to sit behind Ame. Nobody's coming to contest from Gaming Gladiators. Gladiators does not feel strong right now. They will trade towers for farming time. They accept that. Fast tags for XM, a classic here. The question is, what what is the timing that Gladiators is looking for? I mean, I feel like at this point you just kind of want to go later, just just as late as humanly possible, just as late well, as like stream will give it to you. You know, PA item timings, right? Every PA item timing you can think about taking a fight, especially if XG give it to you. Like if XG push an objective, you have vision on them, you're happy to. To take that exchange with the blink RP. Another duel win. That's 20 damage. I mean, it, it adds, adds up. up. It adds up. It adds up. It adds up. It adds up. And he's going to be level 12 soon, so it'll add up even faster. But he's starting to get empowered on the PA, so he should just clear through the map if he has a map. You got to remember, you're down four towers. At 17 minutes? Yeah. It, normally, it's like kind of hard to hunt down the PA, but the more the close, uh, more closed off the map gets, yeah, like, the easier yeah. it is to kind of like make a read of where he's going to try and farm. An early tier two bottom killed as well. So you can get this bottom lane in really deep. You're looking at that dire ward bottom that could casually spot someone farming that bottom line of camps at any point. Yeah. Bags done for the sniper. No BKB for Duraccio. This is an awkward time for Gaiman to fight. Yeah, a little Radiant's bit surprised they're not waiting for that BKB. Attack. I mean, they have the vision, right? That's why they were looking for it. High yeah. ground ward. They see Ame here. Well, Ame's going to walk right into them. They don't want him? Wow. What? Wow. They saw him alone. I mean, the only reason you don't jump there is you think XGR smoked with p other people behind him. Yeah, like Ryder, like XXS, yes. just like sitting there ready to counter you as soon as you try and jump. That feels a little bit like like fear. That smells like fear to me. Yeah. 
or just the read of the game is off? Because, like, what are you smoking for there, then? Yeah. Are you just hoping to see five heroes on that OBS and, like, maybe the Fog just played with them a little bit? But that was a great ward and, a, honestly, a great move if they had taken the risk. But they didn't want to risk it with the PA not having that BKB. I think if Durachu has it there, you man up because then... You go in with the, the RP, you go in with the PA, you BKB, he, you might not have a good Thunder target. It's a lot more reliable, even if he gets pressed the attack. Just awkward timing, and Ame is picking up the pace here. He is going to take another tower, uncontested. Yeah, would you take this tier 2 before the Tormentor spawns? That's pretty crazy. I, I can't remember the last time I, I watched a game like that happen. I mean, that's two tier 2s before that 20-minute mark. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And Gaiman is just not taking a fight at anything. And, and I think these objective defense fights are the best for them because in theory, that's that's where you can go on the Terrorblade with some heroes and hold that RP Skewer if you don't want to go in with him first versus the Rubik versus the Legion. XG getting a lot of time here, a lot of space to operate in. And those Tormentors are coming up. I feel like I've seen this before. Ace died here on the Mag last game. They hit him with the decay. They know he's still here, and they found him. And... Okay. I mean, you just got to get this brooch, right? Yeah, I mean, that's... Get brooch, go and play some PA Mag gaming. Leave in Duraccio. They still see Ame on this ward, by the way. Like, he's just chilling here. Nothing's happening. He's chilling here while this time around they actually did see two heroes. Yeah, they know him. the team is not here. They know that they cannot bring all of their heroes here. So oh, surely this is a play you can make. And thanks to the arrow, it's made easy. Ame could not dodge it. And his aggression around this triangle finally goes punished. My god, I felt like he got away with that for so long. Yeah. There was no Cardell to tank that arrow. So you can you can start to push some of these waves out. The mantle on the void spirit helps. Duracho can start to maybe push some lanes more aggressively now that he has BKB. You just play it play the blur game. Try and not get dueled. Probably difficult for XXS to find him. Dyer's top tower has fallen. And just keep getting towards this PA timing. Play for empower. Let XG go into you. So, <laughs> well, Flame Null returns this to damage deal. He has Revenant's Brooch active. When he gets dual That's blade mailed, he's actually just going to explode himself. Well, if he's BKB'd. Yeah, I guess so. It'll reduce a lot of it. If he's not BKB, he dies probably either way in the duel anyway. Sure, sure, sure. Unless there's the tombstone save. I was just thinking about it. It's kind of funny that, like, very likely his, his magic resistance Radiant is going to be lower than his physical resistance. So. This is a smoke without the mag and without the PA. Got a successful scan. They see DY. I mean, there's no way you can go in here until the team arrives. I mean, couldn't they have gone on the, the Phoenix, though? No, I mean, you're getting dueled if you do that, right? And you didn't have your team fight firepower behind you. So the team arrives, but this smoke is running out, and XG left the pit. Not going to give you some easy massive RP. I got the duel. Maran is already dead. That was fast. They're going to skewer back the Legion Commander. XXS is not going to die easy, though. Tombstone's going to be laid out. Sniper's going to deal with that one with a supernova. Force the rest of the enemy team back. Game of Gladiators put into a corner here where Rubik was trying to stop them from retreating. Durachu still making a break for it. XXS is able to catch him. Celery stuck in the mix here as that RP hit a lot of heroes. They do actually do a decent amount of damage. Are they going to be able to fight through this one? Looks like with the buybacks, it's just still not enough. They X killed them. some heroes, but the big ones are still alive. It's going and ham. Finish off the Magnus and shoot Quinn just for shits and giggles. God damn this sniper. Just giga chad in the fight. Him and Ame taking names out here. And honestly, I mean, Ace, he found some six skewers in that fight. But Duraccio just got melted. He goes in here, he gets lifted under that Sunray, like two hits, and he's a third HP. Did not get many evasion procs. 
And Quinn was doing a lot of damage on the back line here. If Duracho gets out there, you might be able to reset farther down. Buyback from Tofu to try and salvage this. You find that three-man skewer off a nice RP from Ace, but your PA is already dead by then, so you cannot connect the damage. A team fight that could have been for Gaiman as XG continue to outplay them in this series. Yeah, what can you do? Cardell on the high ground. What could you do? And that means they're going to get a Roshan. So Aegis for Ame. Even if they do get that Revenant's Brooch. An Butter. extra life. A Butterfly. Ame. That's so strong right now. He's preparing to hit that high ground. You don't have damage for this Terrorblade outside of clicking him down. I mean, Void Spirit can get like half his HP, but there's Press the Attack, there's Sunray. Have some sustain form here, and a Halberd, that's a nice pickup here. 80 damage on XXS as well. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Getting it done the hard way. Try and take the Tormentor, but they're just Radiance scrambling Middle for the fall. little things here. But the bigger threat is Radiance coming their way. And you'll finally get that Undying Shard. Okay. So to be honest, the way that fight went, I don't think you were saving that duel. Yeah, I don't think you're saving that duel uh, for most heroes. Like, maybe he, the cores are tanky enough to live long enough for you to get that in too. But either way, the damage is going to be done pretty damn quickly. And there's still this problem of, like, you drop Tombstone, but DY drops Supernova. And one controls the area of the fight better than the other. And if you can't find the sniper, the sniper just kills your tombstone. Yeah. Maybe and not the fastest, but it's fast enough. Certainly much better than anything gaming gladiators have to kill Supernova. Well, they got Ooh, the duel as nice he's skewer. skewered backwards. So he's pulled into They're the tier wars. There's the entomb, goes out, grab ally, XXS, backs away now. They kill the tombstone, they use the Supernova. I mean, you Not gotta, the worst for gaming gladiators. Got to find something now. You still have RP. You still have your PA. Yeah, they have to jump. It. They have to go for Ame here. He's the only one showing himself right now on this high ground. But that was pretty lackluster jump from gaming gladiators. Yeah, they just didn't find anything with the mag on the second go. Got a tier three. Got a ranged, and they'll call it quits there. The meta is going to be expiring here. No Supernova, no meta. Does Gaming Gladiators want to try and fight, or they want to try and finish up these, these very key items, right? The Ags is getting close for the Void Spirit. Still working on that Revenant. I mean, approach. you know there's no Supernova and no meta right now, so it's tempting to try and take something here. But you're lacking wards right now. You have the brooch. You do have the brooch. It's not a bad window if you can find a jump. Get a high ground ward. They're showing themselves right now. Oh, this is not bad if you can find a target. Try to jump forward. Go for DY first. See if they can kill that support. Oh, just not enough. They're just too far behind that the Void Spirit's burst too. damage. Can't kill a support yet. Dracho blinked out as he ran into Ame and did not want to take that fight into the Aegis. Oops. That is a spot. He doesn't want to use his steps. They're so important to him, so I mean, he'll just fight back. back. Meta's back up. Supernova's coming back up. They want their barracks. Tempo push. One way to punish these mag lineups, especially when they fall behind. And they're not going to go for the skewer on this bottom lane. Ace running into the shrapnel. Yes, Hazel and Splink. He can find these at a pretty far distance, but you have to think about the Rubik Lift. Okay, Lift got used. Is this prevent present an opportunity for Mag to get the jump here? I mean, honestly, I wonder Raggio if this is fascinating. Raggio win outside the base, looking on the side for an easy pickoff. They want the Sniper. They're going to be able to find it. They're going to go good. Oh, for the Phoenix. That's a good one. Get it very quickly. Better running out as well. I mean, that was great positioning from them to find that that kind of opening way too far away for XM and Ame to try and counter. They will still respect the team fight here, though, even with Meta going down. Perhaps also feeling like they only need a few key kills in here to get to the late game PA timing. 
We yeah. saw what Yatoro did with that in that other game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they were on the receiving end of that, so they they obviously respect the power of this. And this, and this does look like a game where if you get the, the five, six slot PA brooch and power divine, it's going to cause XG some problems, right? Yeah. Like, you don't have gap close mechanisms other than you going in duel, and you can't go in in duel because when you aggressively go in that far to duel, you're getting tombstone saved. So it's kind of an, an interesting puzzle in a way of... Even if you're losing this game on game, and if you just go ultra late with this PA and get to that point, does it does it carry? Yeah. One lane of barracks does not relieve the pressure. Extreme do have to keep it up. You do need to be continuing to take the tempo should uh, not be lulled into uh thinking that the game is over before the ancient is done xg bypass that smoke and the ward behind their tier one with their own Shoot and are just going down mid down mid gaming gladiators is going to be an awkward position once ame pops the meta and starts hitting it and he's going to do just that Radiant now they're tping back extreme will they try and take advantage of these heroes trickling in they don't jump. They're going to let Gaming Gladiators be the ones to try and do the jumping here. Ame pops his BKB to finish up the melee barracks. He just has no fear of getting skewered. Knows the team can bail out that jump from the mag. No BKB on him. Especially if the Assassinate just keeps on being put on him. Shrapnel being thrown out there is stopping his Blink Dagger a lot of times. I mean, Ame has done so much building damage this game. He's honestly incredibly underleveled here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he actually He's level 16 at 30 minutes on a Terror Blade. Duraccio is level 20. He's just been taking buildings. Another flank here off the Maran ult. Again, they want the Phoenix. They want the Sniper and Rubik. Open up the fight for Ace. Quinn's going to force it, but... Step to try and chase after them here, but it's a bit of a reach. They found Shin Q, so that's okay. I mean, that's big if they can get him. They cannot. Radiance nice uh, use of the phantom uh, step, rather. Duraccio Ooh. does go for XXS. Supernova's going to be used on the side. They're going to try and kill it, and they do so pretty quickly. Now opening. they spot Ame. Ame's kind of in an awkward position here. Dagger goes out. Doesn't kill Shin Q. Got him. XM on the skewer back. He, got he can try and take advantage of this one. RP. Oh, it actually hits the Legion Commander. He got the duel off. Immediately kills and shot down is the PA. Buys back all around from Extreme Gaming. They will punish Gaming Gladiators. It was a big win for GG. It's just... They're matched up against too many heroes too close to extreme gaming side of the map. Though the benefit of taking that fight there is you're not going to, in theory, lose all of your base here. You take that fight at your base, you're getting megas in this game. I mean, you get three, it's triple buyback, and then the Legion duels your PA. RP tries to save him, but the damage is done by that point. That is a hard fight. 5v8. How get much with is your gem. Extreme going to get off of this? Because Roshan is coming up, so there there is kind of the question of, like, if they buy back, if yeah. they get a kill or two, maybe you give up Roshan, and, and that will effectively stall the game more than anything else. I mean, you can buy your PA here. Durancho has it. Is it worth a lane? He feels like it is. He's okay. going to pop it now before the melee barracks dies. You have Ame. to catch something here, right? Ame's going to stick around this for this one. So bold. It really is. Pops the BKB. The BKB is going to run out soon. He starts getting silenced. He needs to be able to get off of Sunder somewhere in here. Ooh. And he just can't. Too much burst damage. Duraccio gets two. Now he hunts down for more. Jumps to the back line. Going for XM. XM, who's been invading him quite a lot. But this time, he is dead to rights. Can't believe that Ame did not Ow. back down. What? I mean, that is just, that is insane to me. Like, there's no way giving that fight to the PA in her base is worth a Rax when that Roshan is coming back up and you don't have buys on three euros. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a mana buy. I, I mean, if he got the, I mean, okay, if he gets that, that building, he finishes off, they get Magos and Roshan is a late Roshan then everything is totally fine, right? Then it's like... Sure, if you get Megas there, I mean, I guess that's the thought process, right? Like, if we man up with BKB, I get Megas. Even if we die, who cares? Yeah. It's such an early Megas will win this game. 
But damn, was it like a little bit disrespectful because mm -hmm. the second that PA bought, he just stood there with BKB. Like, and if Gaming Gladiator stays here, they will be rewarded by an early Roshan. The weird thing about that entire thing is I think if XG just went with that plan, like they just went in with the Legion and Sniper and all hit that racks, there's no RP there. Yeah. They might have just gotten it. Yeah. They probably it might have ended better. They didn't stick around the pit. Yeah, and it spawns. Roshan spawns. And they're just going straight for Vegas. <laughs> He's just going for it, oh, man. I, this is this is gonna work. Did they not watch Game and Gladiators versus Spirit? They have to know that Megas is not the end. Yeah, but it's it's really strong this it early in the game. It is very early for it, for sure. It's just... Double damage. Okay, Gaming got back in time. Okay, this will force you them up. away from the Roshan pit. It's going to go to Dire Side soon. Now, they also did get that PA buyback, which is big in this game. Yeah, And you sure. finish MKB. So if you can ever man up and just kill Duraccio, this I mean, this game just implodes. Does have his axe now too. I just don't know when Tarachio is ever going to show himself if the TB's alive. I mean, he, he should not ever really get jumped. Yeah. Like even if it means losing this building, it's almost like you just you just gotta play for the daggers no matter what. Gaiman Gladiators tournament on the line in a game two. Down some gold, down some buildings. All right, Roshan switches over to the other side to extreme. We're like, okay, now we can take that. And I mean, this is this is a troubling Aegis because you don't have Glyph on the radiant side. If I, if XG just decide to man up and try and Megas you and trade some lives for it, uh -huh. they probably have to be content with that exchange. Yeah. It's, you, uh, you better make your peace with that because there's nothing else you could really do about it. Unless uh, you're just going to hit the most godly RP. It groups all these heroes up, which is a possibility. I mean, you hit the, the big, the big even, boy RP. I don't even think he needs that godly of a one. He just needs to either get a skewer off without getting lifted or find like, two. You know, one plus the TB. Duraccio does a lot of damage. They don't have a way to prevent him dealing insane damage right now. Oh. Going outside of the base what to try this? and start this one. It doesn't work. The Supernova now going to push him back. Now, fortunately, they have some mobile heroes. Oh, no. Telekinesis. He gets away with the actual step. Ace is sitting on the side here. No BKB on the PA now. They did not want to let them. try and jump back in. They do not want to let him get to these buildings. Yeah, they are trying to protect the Megas. Take the fight outside the base. Ame has other plans. Ame just goes straight to it. BKB hitting the buildings. Gaming Gladiators. Just gone. They're going to give this one up in exchange for waiting for a better opportunity for their initiation. Still, still sitting behind. up here. Meta wearing down. You've already conceded the Megas, so at this point, there's not a lot to gain, honestly, for both teams in a way. You will have to eventually end this game if you're XG. And we've seen PA in this position. Yep. It's it gets real dicey once he gets this divine. He gets, yeah, if he gets divine, then this game is is back on in a way. Yeah. Right. Right now, it's like the damage is it's not going to be one shotting the TB. That play just looked it's so forced in a way. I think the concept of fighting outside your base makes sense there, so you don't just get BKB megas regardless. Yeah. But. Again, the coordination from Gaiman just it didn't feel a hundred percent on, right? Yeah, I, I think the the biggest like one of the biggest incentives out of taking that base outside of, uh, outside of the base, taking that fight outside of the base, is the fact that they're more likely to be clumped up, right? They they're not right. thinking they don't about the mag RP. So you would expect that's what they play for, some sort of vision and jump skewer RP that gets you know three, maybe four heroes, and those plays can work. You know, XG is not necessarily thinking about getting jumped there. They're thinking about it going high ground. If you run up that lane, place an OBS, you see them all walking down the lane because, oh, oh, we got Roche, we're going to go high ground. Mm -hmm. You might just get that four or five man RP. It's happened before. So I think the idea was, was there. But again, the execution has been the crux of gaming in this tournament. 
All these things are just going a little wrong. It's, they get a little throat off. They backfire. Still, they're only down 5k gold in this game. That's the crazy part. Ooh, that is this a big find. This is dangerous. They, they are going to be able to kill him. Can okay. Extreme get here? No. I mean, that is so. that's damage for the PA. Thank you, XXS. 30 damage? That's a lot on a hero that's getting empowered and is going to play for divine broach burst damage that, again, I don't think XG have a great answer yeah. for that that end game. And Gaiman, they got some experience going for him. They, <laughs> they were on the other side of that. So they know what it can do. Game of Gladiators is up by 8,000 experience. Yeah, again, the missing XP on Ame this game. The downside of committing to all those buildings. You're missing some levels, and Duraccio is not. He's almost level 25. Big talent for this hero. Got some dual damage and empower to go with it. And you're just queuing up Divines at this point. Level 25. Things get spookier. Ame just walks in the base. Man's got no chill. Does have How an Aegis. times that Ame just walks forward? Pump Satanic trying to heal himself up. Here come the daggers. Again, not in danger of one-shotting the TB right now. Tries to jump on a Shin Q. Baited out. Eon Dis. They get got the, the duel onto him with the supernova. There's the grab ally. A deal with the Tombstone, he's going to come back into the Supernova Explosion, but he does manage to jump away just in time. No Ooh. stun there, and now they get the one shot. Can they get a skewer? Can they get a stun? Ame pops the BKB, turns around, Reflection. Hero's getting a little bit low. He's actually hitting Duraccio. Doesn't does. do very much. He does nothing here, and Duraccio knows it. Yeah. And he gets him. And the chase is on. How much more can you get? The detection's there. The gem is still on Quinn. He did not die in that earlier fight. He's going to shoot himself down to the low ground, but of course, a Phantom Ooh. Assassin and a Void Spirit are going to be able to chase you there. That, again, did Extreme watch Game and Gladiators versus Spirit. I mean, the whole way they've been playing this game is if they, they know they're on a timer, which is the crazy part, in a way. Yeah. Like, they're playing as if they're on a timer... Ame just needs to walk in, start hitting these buildings, make something happen. Duel on Duraccio. Is there the a save? gonna do it? The duel runs out, man. That status resistance is too much. He's just too tanky. You don't have MKB on XXS. He's just not killing it. Dude, Ascetic's cap's gotta go, man. And now he has Divine. Yeah, that item is very strong. <laughs> Though that was a very cute play by XG as they got the lift on the Undyne to prevent the Tombstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They had the right idea. You can see yeah. it. An easy shot. Oh, this game is getting spicy. Game and up gold. Get megas at 30 minutes, but... Top is I mean, are they... Are they favored? <laughs> I don't know if that's too crazy to say. I don't, I, I'm not sure if they're actually favored because the fight is so much easier when they're inside of the base. I, I just think the extreme now have to take the, like, part two. All right, right. What like, plan plan A didn't work. You couldn't actually close out the game by just bum rushing the towers. I feel so. like your only plan to deal with this PA is getting MKB plus like Satanic on the Legion, and somehow connecting a duel on Duraccio, where XXS could manage to kill him with just the amount of damage that he's accrued in this game. Yeah, I don't really think Ame is touching him in these fights. And the rest of the three aren't a huge threat to him. Illusion. Is there anything the sniper can build into here? I mean, he can go his own divine rapiers and conda. That is actually true. Yeah, yeah you outrange <laughs> the dagger. I mean, <laughs> just you become <laughs> the PA version 2.0. Is this what Dota is now? In order to beat my enemy, I must become my enemy. The sniper assassin. They're going to find XM, so that's... Hey, goodbye. Nice RP, too. Hey, goodbye. 
Everybody wave goodbye to XM and XXS. Bye-bye. They had a nice time playing the bottom Radiant Jungle. All right, I guess they are favored. <laughs> I, think I, don't, I don't see what you do to this. Unless you make this game go like another 50 minutes and, you know, you have like five, six slotted heroes with some crazy tier five items. And I mean, I do think that's kind of what they need to play for now. Yeah, which, I do. which is just... I don't think they have a way they can technically end the game at this point in time unless Gaiman really mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't mean Gaiman will win this, but, like, it's it, looking honestly fairly solid for them. <laughs> they Which are, is insane. They are so deep on the map when the, they are the ones fighting up against Megas. Goodbye. Oh, he has the this. Not goodbye. I mean, is it going to be good enough for him? He gets a blink away, but... Anyway, he's getting Lincolns because uh, he knows that's kind of your only win condition right now on Extreme. Yeah, it just doesn't Kill feel like he through duel. needs more damage, I guess. Which, you know, he has some power. He has some 30 dual damage. It's kind of there. I don't, I don't mind it. If this game goes on another 30 minutes, then maybe you start thinking about like a second divine, eat your eggs, you know. Yeah. yeah. But for now, he's got more than enough damage. Radiant Go with the defensive item, that. prevent any sort of ridiculous duel, lift shenanigan. What is the game plan here for XG? Get Roshan, for one. We're playing against a B tier carry, but. Stronger than you Got expected. him on the duel anyway! Broke through that Lincoln's nice use of the astral steps for Jin Q to provide that extra bit of damage that they require. That's and, a gem. And that's the problem, right? Is the fact that, yeah, inside of your base, you're able to stay all grouped up and stuff. The When you push out like that, you naturally have to split up a bit more, and that leaves opportunities for yeah. Extreme to get everybody else. I mean, that took a five man smoke. They did get the gem off Quinn, which was big because we've seen that gem let them chase down the sniper in some of the fights. Yeah. Astral Step can also do some work for Jin Q here, and it'll give him the Aegis, an objective that Gaiman might have been able to get in this game. Invisibility is also just a good way to deal with the dagger spam. It's true. This is an Ags. And it will go to Ame. Wow, Jin Q even picked it up for him. What a Jin nice Jin Q's going to go Dagons. XM's going to go Divine Rapier. Yup. Okay, so this is uh, this is a game plan, right? I can see this. Like, you get this Divine Rapier Conda Sniper, and you get some more burst damage up. I can't tell if doing this sort of thing, like the Dota has become this, I can't tell if this is great we got a break or stupid. Too. Silver Edge for the break is also nice here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for sure. They're, they're building some solutions to this Phantom Assassin. Shinkyu is... So bold, man. I, whoa, okay, he's trying Goodbye. to bait, but uh, that that was a that was a little goldfish against a killer whale. That bait didn't do much. Yeah, that Aeon went away fast, and then you are in no man's land. I mean, the thing is, they find PA out of the base. You kind of have to take some risk. To like, okay, let's try and get something to happen. I guess. Yeah. It's not costing you a lot here, but I guess the game is going later and later. I wonder how much that other game is affecting gaming right now. Like, what did they learn from? Oh, they a hundred percent. I felt like from, uh, like about twenty minutes in, I, I I I feel like there was a decision making of like, guys, we saw this in action. We don't have to worry so much about yeah. these buildings going down. We don't have to try and fight them so much. We're just gonna get this revenants brooch, and we'll have the answer to TV. It's crazy they still got Megas. <laughs> Dagon for Tofu? Just help deal with TV illusions, I guess. Yeah, TV illusions are going to be hitting, hitting buildings, so. I mean, they, they're also going to be thinking about, well, we didn't really beat Spirit in a fight. We beat them in a... <laughs> in, Yes. rushing to the throne, so that's what they're probably going to be doing as well. But I don't think this XG lineup is nearly as good as No, no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. I think the TB is fine. 
Maybe Legion can like blink in VKB, hit the throne a little. Sniper is pretty bad at going that deep. He tends to be a very slow MS hero, does not have the mobility. Like you could smoke down the side, you know, the, the move that Gaiman made and, and get position to try and force this glyph, but there's still tier fours up. That's a big factor here. Yeah. You're gonna potentially have the buybacks to defend those tier fours. And I think that's just too much HP to go through. Goodbye. And they can't even see him, man, because that Aghanim Scepter. Sniper got out of there. spotted now, tear away, but the BKB goes off first. I mean, that's an Aegis. Ah, oh, Duraccio needs to get out. He knows that Supernova's coming. He knows the buyback is going to be put to use, and he expertly gets away so out of the range of Extreme. So damn slippery. Can throw that second Lincolns on top of him as well. Little bit of chip damage here yeah. or there on Towers. You get the Phoenix buyback. Phoenix buyback being put to use. They have a minute and a half on the Aegis. Game I don't the think you want to use this Aegis pushing into the base. I, I, it's very risky. PA is just out of the base here. Oh, I mean, if X-Nix has just blindly he blinks, he might be able to get him go through the Lincolns. He shows now, but he managed to get the duel. Can they kill him here? It's so Tombstone important. The saved. RP comes through. The Tombstone grab ally saves the PA. Comes back out. No blade mails, so you're done, son. Push in. Ami is underneath the tier force right now off of that skewer. He's it's no other choice but to <laughs> hit buildings from this point. <laughs> Comes back in, look at him, they're trying to scramble to save Ame. Guys, he's already dead. He doesn't know it yet, but Duraccio <laughs> has killed him twice. <laughs> Yo, guys, where's our carry? <laughs> did you did you blink out, Ame? <laughs> did you get out of there? <laughs> oh my god, it's just, it's actually just disgusting. Yeah. 4,000 HP plus crit. We're going to a game three, man. I'm calling. I, 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 We're I going don't. to game three. There's no buyback on TB. I don't, see I don't think Game of Glider is going to end the game for anything, but they're going to get buybacks out of them. They're going to get. They're going to be able to stay out on the map, get a bunch of farm. Durachu is going to get like a backup divine rapier and buyback gold. So even if Extreme kill him once, honestly, part of me. Feels like if Durachio BKBs the duel, you don't even save him. Like, <laughs> he'll just win the duel. <laughs> just yeah, let, just let him. Yeah. How much will Gaiman get here? Off uh, a push that yielded a tier four that was already low and nothing more. Now Ame is coming back up, so they didn't get any buybacks here. They don't know he doesn't have Got one. They the found duel the, mag. On the Magnus here. The bots in time they do is. to finish him in. Oh, geez, XXS almost gets one shot there. Coming back in, Divide Rapier on the ground. XXS will end up going down. Duraccio chasing after Jin Q. Tear Wave goes Mix out. Duraccio picks back up that Divine Rapier. Makes a run for it. Does he want to turn or not? He turns, goes for Ame. But he's got to be so careful, man. He's got this one life to live. Back in, XM cut off from the rest of his allies. Will be chopped down, but... Extreme got something major out of that. Duraccio's buyback. Uh, they got him once? I mean, <laughs> that is something. He died so fast. That was amazing for XG. Yeah, these fights are literally like the anime samurai duels where they just do one swing yeah, that you don't yeah. even see. It's just like, Darashi just goes in instantly like a hero's die. Maybe he kills himself when he does, does it. You know, it's just like... I, I feel like I need to watch that fight again just <laughs> to understand exactly how that happened so fast. Was it just the Legion blade mill? Yeah, Dur Duraccio like killed himself. Zero? Almost killing the Legion commander in the process, yeah, but... It's just ridiculous. He gets the duel, goes, he jumps and instantly like, crits, killing himself. That's... That was insane. He one-shot himself. Yep. Under <laughs> He's too powerful He's for <laughs> even himself. <laughs> This PA broach is so broken. Yes. It's so dumb. It's, it's I don't know why. I don't know why they needed to buff Revenant's broach. Like, 
this is such an insane late game item. You can't really itemize that much against it. Most you can really do is blade mail, right? You just can't get more magic yeah, resistance than you have physical resistance. You just buy five blade mills. Five that blade is mills. legit what XG should do. I, and it, I, I think it's what Gaiman should have done in that other game, too. I think so, too. Just everybody he goes on, or every dagger that goes out, you blade mail them. Yeah, triple, a triple dagger right back at him. And if one of those crits, he's gone. I mean, you have to... Th it may, the blade mails will make you think about this brooch activation. Yeah. Because I don't think he dies to the physical dagger crit one shot. It's only the brooch on. Yes. Because he has 25 armor. Yeah. So if he hits himself with a physical crit, no problem. He can shut. I mean, that it's off. still going to hurt, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's going to hurt, but he's going to live. And we saw Ame pick one up. So they, they understand right now. I'm, I'm just saying go back to the old meta. Yeah, just pick up a hard blade mail. They have you know, cute. boys? They have him cute. They're gonna mask the blade mails here. They have the, they have Ame and XXSs and both supports have it in their buy. Okay, here's another thing for you. They have learned they have learned the next level. XXS does have martyrs play. Which is an extra blade mail for you, basically. Yeah. Right? Wait, he, if he does the magic dagger, he just redirects twenty five percent of that damage onto himself. So what you're saying while is while he's blade mailing. You run in a ball. He daggers. Yes, yes. You martyrs play blade mail. <laughs> Guarantee one shot him back. I, uh, <laughs> Get five man RP'd into the fountain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, gotta do what you gotta do, man. I, mean, I think they do that. This is Ice Frog's world. We're all just living in it. They all die. Somewhere he's laughing his ass <laughs> off right now. Uh, he's like, this is what I wanted. My finest creation. <laughs> it's literally I, that meme. You know, it's literally <laughs> that meme. My finest creation. Yes. Ice Rock's that guy who doesn't actually watch the live matches. He only watches highlights. <laughs> well, so, so, he's gonna have some highlights from this game. So he, cre he creates. He creates these these opportunities for just the most wild batshit games and interactions. So he can watch the highlight. He's and just gonna wake up on a off. wake up on a Friday morning. I wonder what happened in that game in Extreme Series. I wonder if people are still buying Mage Slayer. You know, <laughs> I want to see if the Mage Slayer nerfs really affected the meta. Oh uh, shit! Well, the buybacks are slowly coming back up for XG. They have the one and two. Three minutes for the back line here. And I mean, three I minutes for Darachios and Wind Waker for Quinn. That's a big pickup here. Because mm. now you can throw the daggers, let him hit the blade mail, Wind Waker the PA at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop him from killing himself. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the strat now. I see where this is going. So level one was the broach PA. Level two was the blade mails. Now level three is Wind Wakering to prevent the blade mail damage. Level four will be Tier nullif five neutral? nullifying the Wind Waker to bring <laughs> him back down <laughs> into killing himself. <laughs> I mean, tier fives are also pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, what would be good for XG here? Uh, I mean, last time, Arcanist so... Arcanist armor do anything against this? It, there was the Arcanist armor as an option. There was, uh, Mirror Shield was blocking the dagger. Obviously, the sent back, it, like, it, it doesn't do anything. It's whatever, but it did at least... It'll save you. It was kind you of can, like a Lincoln's. Do you want to be saved, or would you rather just blade mail hit it? Yeah. I don't think any of these other... I mean, Book of Shadows... I, yeah, like, there, there's the unwavering <laughs> condition <laughs> where <Yeah>. you... <laughs> That's true. That gets really weird. Like you, if, like, half your lineup takes unwavering condition and the other half the doesn't... the other takes blade mail... <laughs> <laughs> some, some of us will survive. And then you run down mid lane and you That's just... Right. You play the cups game. That's you right. Know? Where you just shift your heroes back and forth and Dorachi was just like, I don't I don't know which one to dagger, guys. The, the, the ultimate next level mind game is you, you get unwavering condition and you swap it in and out. You drop him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has to toggle broach back and forth <laughs> versus unwavering condition going in and out while you're trying to blade mail him. Oh my god. Dude, I'm like, what? This is this dumbest the game of red light games. green light I've ever seen? The mind games going down right now. <laughs> oh man. Only half of us will survive, men. <laughs> we must take that ramp. Let's charge up that hill. <laughs> this is the stupidest concept. 
Why is it always this hero too? <laughs> like, why can't this hero just be a normal Agi carry? It's always some weird, like, Ooh, I'm gonna throw a dagger <laughs> from 8,000 range and like one shot you assassin. <laughs> every, like, every two years, there's some stupid PA meta. <laughs> And then it gets nerfed, and we don't see this hero again for like five years. Yeah. Ice Frog picks it back up out of the trash. He's like, you know what you need? You I need another cheese way to one shot heroes <laughs> at no risk. <laughs> yes, this time it'll work. <laughs> oh my Shit, god. Shit, he could buy a backed up backup divine rapier soon. I don't think he has that plus buyback. Yeah, yet. not not yet, but soon. Yeah, 18 seconds for the buy, and he has. Only 4k surplus. His buyback's very expensive as he's almost level 30. Another big talent for the hero, some extra damage. Uh. Yeah, backup divine plus buyback. I mean, that's the name of the game here, right? Forced you to find this PA twice. Though they gotta be thinking about the Midas's for the tier five items. That's a big deal here. Yeah. They don't have the gold for them, really. I, I mean, hey, plus the Midas is, <laughs> the game's going to last another 15 minutes, so you Midas will be able to pay for itself. All right, we have, I'm, I'm doing the blade Oops. mail check. We have four blade mails right now. We have a Rubik blade mail. We have the Legion yeah. one that he's backpacked for ages right now. And we have sniper blade mail. So if we're going to go, <laughs> I, I get that, dude, that's Havost right there. If we're going to go back, what? if we're going to go for the blade mails, blade mail idea, then the tier five neutral item that would help the most in that situation is Arcanist armor and Giant's rings just for the HP. You could apex the Legion commander for for more HP than Giant's ring, I guess. I mean, Arcanist is a reduction. Does blade mail reflect before blade mail reflects before reduction, right? All reduction, including Arcanist armor. But Arcanist armor has an active reduction. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if it matters. Yeah. <laughs> Mega shield grants a forty percent damage reflection for five seconds. Yeah, that's that's big because you're dealing with the brooch damage on an AOE, and your forty percent damage reflection stacks with blade mail reflection. So I mean, it is just mega good here. I think. Yeah. Your base is gonna end up taking less damage but dealing more on average. Uh, I don't know. I mean, sure. I I don't think any of these others really changed the game. I guess Stygian maybe lets you like. Go for these buildings faster, you know. Giant's Ring, you can play that over the side of the base play because you have some map mobility. Unwavering condition, I mean, we might see it. It's it's honestly not terrible here for the supports. Yeah. Like, you're going to get one shot anyway, so you may as well take it and then play the 50-50. Oh, like, <laughs> you, you bro chip me, I'm unwavered. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody take Unwavering Condition before. I think it's getting close to actually being okay. Yeah, I think so too. But I mean, obviously, in this fucking weird, weird yeah, game well, that, yeah, you know. Who knows? I mean, the problem with that item is like the others are usually better and more reliable. Yeah. They all have like pretty good effects that you rather just have than playing for some like unkillable dude. So, my it does make you tiny though. That part's cool. <laughs> Wait, it does? I haven't yeah, seen it. Yeah, it shrinks your model, right? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So when somebody picks it up, what <laughs> does their really, magic resistance really cool. go to? Ninety-five percent added on, so it goes to. Is it like ninety-six? We go up to all the way to up to like. Can you get to ninety-eight, ninety-nine? Like there's yeah, diminishing the, returns, right? To all of this, it's so. not a hundred, but I think it's it's above ninety-five. I think. Like it's just really. Really good. If All right, we've got some, game. <laughs> the team's got some good theory crafting. I mean, hopefully, with you, uh, whenever we get into these situations, it's always the the theory craft. There was better things that could have been done, but in the moment, 
players right, what if we can't take, come up with it, but we take, a a couple, we take unwavering condition okay. on the Terrorblade Sniper, yeah. and then we line them up with a couple couriers, and we run them in, down the bottom of the base, and because they're smaller models, they're going to think they're like mini courier versions. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> uh, no, 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 here's what you do. You, you, uh, you get Helm of, Helm, Helm of uh, the Overlords. You get a bunch of Helm of the Overlords, and you you run the Ancients, the big old those big old dragons, you know. And then they can't see the the, the little heroes underneath them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I can hop on top. Yeah. Oh, they're looking for the items. They know they're oh, looking for the oh, items. Oh, oh. Durachi is gonna run right into Amino. Panic, panic, panic. BKB, get away. That was a heads up play by XG. But where was the rest of the team? Yeah. And that I mean, the the Ags makes it so hard. You have to get so hey, close yeah, the, to him. The blur vision's just. Oh my god. Dude, Ame Swarming on the other side. That's a that's a fast E word. They got one ancient camp. They, they got, got one. one. Radiant are scanning. So who's gonna take that one? It's going to the PA. I mean for sure you give it to PA. He has refresher now too. Ame's pushing. He has his own mirror shield. Yeah, he's going for it. Time to put a stop to this. He goes for pirate hat on Quinn. They actually gave it to Quinn. I think Tarachiu checked and he didn't have anything he wanted. Mm, that would make sense. Nothing was better than aesthetics, Cap. Well, they got some tower damage. Unhealable tower damage. Getting hit by <laughs> yeah, catapults much, right now. Yeah, like 100? Two more catapult hits below 460. Value. Value right there. We only need 10 more of those Aegises. And the throne will be exposed. Okay, so we have double mirror shield. Dead. Which is kind of confusing because that's contradictory to the blade mail idea. That's but what I was saying. Like, you, But, you know, you can reflect the first one's blade mail the second. Yeah, sure. All right, sure. whatever. Uh, Book of Shadows for the Phoenix. Book of the Dead for the Rubik. Some extra push power. Maybe you can rat a building with the book. Maybe. It, this item does give you detection and stuff, which is just nice in the fights. True, true. And then the final one is going to be Legion Commander is still deciding. And the one pirate hat. They're looking for another camp. They just can't get too many camps. Yeah, it's going to be Quinn going around the edge of the map. This is a smart play. Just go all the way to where you know no one's probably looking for you. I mean, the funny part is, is if buy back anyway. Game and Gladiators grab another pirate hat, I think they'll actually start gaining net worth on Extreme just by digging. Oh, 100%. Wow, he got none there. That is awful RNG. No, he got he dropped one from the medium camp. Oh, yeah, he got one. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Book of the Shadows for the Magnus. So, they can Book of Shadows the PA oh, successful. after she daggers. Is he gonna get him here? Go to Quinn. Pop. He got him. Got him. Oh, it brought him down. It's a big fine. Two thousand gold. You can maybe force this buyback now. It's extra dual damage as well. So he got two tokens out of that. I think. Duraccio has his, so he's debating. They went triple mirror shield. The leech commander got a mirror shield as well. Yeah, so they're soft. Another out. pirate hat. Yeah. Pirate hat gaming. Pirate hat, pirate hat. <laughs> Can we get the sea shanty again? No, no sea shanties. Maybe if they win. What do you do here if you're XG? You, I think you have to try and force this by. Well, Ro uh, Roshan's going to be spawning soon. Okay, there's that mirror shield. Now for the next round, the Manta. Oh, Dorachio is going to jump forward. The Book of the Dead is going with the illusions. Dorachio is spotted out. They're trying to chase him down. No, they're going to go hit the Ancient. Mame's leaning into a tear wave. Push them all back. They're leaning into the Ancient right now, but they have to back away. They're like, okay, we blew everything we had there, boys. We got the buyback. That was good work. We got to be patient. This is not a one blow sort of situation here. We got to work them down. Jinkyu is a madman. He blinked into Book of the Dead. Like, <laughs> why? Why was that necessary? 
<laughs> That's his best play. They got Quinn's buyback. They got a tier four and they got half the throne. Now this throne will heal up. And most importantly, Gaiman did Radiant not glyph. Has been killed. Yeah, you That's have true. to hold that glyph. That's true. No matter what, basically. Because if you use that glyph without wiping them, <laughs> you just lose. Uh, I know he's got A on this, but it's really funny just how aggressive he is. Can they get any more uh, any more neutral items? And Quinn's courier, that was a courier. Still missing two tier fives. He was trying to buy his own divine. He has 6k gold, no buy. He can't get to a shop right now. Do you risk going to the other shop? I think the courier went out to the enemy shop. No, his courier died. Oh, no, that was, was the refresher. Saying. This Sorry. is Duracho's with a second divine. Preparing for the assault. Needs 450 for buy. Those pirate hats will get it soon enough. And a smoke. A smoke, Radiant damn. Assault. Are they just pushing out? They're smoking Quinn to the shop. He wants Divine Rapier here. They're also going to look for slain at the same time. He's going to run into Ame. Oh, 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 oh. Just get so the hell they out. got it. They got the Divine Rapier that they wanted. Did what a. I like this, though. Ame, I, I think. I think Bleak Daggers is. If you're going to be hitting this Ancient, you kind of want to be able to, like, just get on top of it as quick as possible, you know? If he blinks Terra Waves, that might just be enough time to... Oh, the arrow! Jinku and DY, it just barely... Jinku... Jinku blade melee. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Throne's healed. Again, most important thing here is Glyph. This will do this. If XG can force Glyph and have buybacks up, that is a winning position in some situations. So gaming will try and hold this Glyph as long as possible in every fight. Yeah. We, we got some time here. They're going to do Roshan. Can I just say, I told you! I told you you cursed us. Me? Yes. What this guy is in the green room. Oh, oh, we might get back. Before midnight today. <laughs> we might get back before I midnight. Say, I and I told that. you. I was like, oh, you I have absolutely cursed the hell out of us by saying that. I don't I, know why you would say that. If I did say that, though. Whoa. What happened to Duraccio? He killed himself on Tormentor? What? He killed himself on the Tormentor? What? Uh, what? What? Well, oh, oh, I've seen that face before. I've seen Duraccio make that exact same face before. I can't remember what ah. wonder it was, but this one, this one has to rival that one. Oh my God. I mean, obviously Ow. they recovered the divine rapier because, you know, he died to, uh, I think he, oh, he daggered. I think maybe they had vision of the tormentor and he daggered the wave and the dagger hit the, the tormentor. Dude, I bet that's what it was. Because his positioning oh was not next God. to the tournament. I mean, Anyways, it doesn't fucking he gets matter. Bot. He gets forced into the buy, and I mean, you gotta win this fight. They're gonna skewer back in. XXS is in the midst of them. Ame's pushing forward. The super over. They also have to deal with that at the same time. BKB is gonna be popped. They're gonna hit this throw. Tear away. Pushes back some of these heroes. Supernova explodes. Still holding on to that glyph, though. They're gonna pop it now. That's they have to go in now. The second supernova is going to explode, but the glyph is now gonna play it out. Ami starts backing himself away. Tofu wants to be able to chase after him. Duraccio throws out a dagger. Half HP already. Jump oh. in. Immediately blows up. There goes oh. the Aegis. Duraccio takes out another one. XM is gone. Legion Commander's coming back into play. Shinku's right in the oh. middle of them. He's gone instantly, of course. Can't survive long there. Ace is chasing after these heroes. Gets anything he can. It's going to be an RP onto the Phoenix. They'll take him down. <laughs> Round two's assault was... A success for Extreme? You got the glyph and got you got the glyph. a PA buyback you had no business getting. Duraccio kills himself. Somehow he finds a way. Life <laughs> finds a way. Life finds a way. I don't even know it. Like, I, Duraccio I know, finds a way. Oh, God. Dude, if he... If he, uh, if he daggered... The Tormentor accidentally with his triple stifling dagger somehow. That like that is just the most insane I, I, accidental death. I don't I don't even want to talk about it, honestly. Shadows take us. They're pushing. Bounty, which they don't have glyph. 
This is exactly how Team Spirit lost versus them. <laughs> I mean, you have to get by. I mean, all the ways are pushed out. in. There's no way they can get to your Ancient. Unless they bought to Donna XXS, who was I out thought there. they were going to do that. Oh, they jumped onto an illusion. That's, uh, that's a duel wasted. And also Terra Wave that was wasted. Game of Gladi is really going for it here. There's a dire This cliff. is not a drill. We are live. Extreme Gaming having a poke. Take it away to Lincoln's of Quinn. He goes for it. They managed to get the skewer back onto Shin Q. He's dead. No buy. No buy there. Instant dieback for the Rubik. That opens up these mag skewers a lot. Means he can keep fishing. No threat on Gaiman's throne right Does now. Does mean Jirachu has to put himself on the front lines here, and that means he can go for this duel. He has got bashed up. Oh, XXS, he's not able to get into the blade belt. Jirachu is fighting through the supernova right on top. He jumps himself away. He got out of the range. Now he can look for the dagger back in. They got the RP. Ame, he's going to fight through this tombstone. Jirachu. He's going to find nothing in inside, trouble. though. There was no Jirachu. Jirachu, he's being controlled up. You will step out of the air. He's going to come back down. Silence onto the sniper, trying to stop the assassinates that are going in the tombstone. He's inside. Jirachu pops back out, and he's trying to make his way out of here. Extreme Gaming are fine to let him go. They almost lost the game here. He doesn't want to go. He wants there more. It lands. It lands on Ame. They're going to go for him. Break through that Lincoln's Break through that mirror shield. Book of Shadows bails him oh, out. Oh, skewer him in. Skewer him in. XM is gone. He does have a buyback, but the throne is exposed. They still, they do, they don't have Glyph. Ame. Can he do this? They need the wave to come in right now. A dagger until he clears some of these illusions. They start he going for it. The tear wave goes out. They manage to get the duel. The duel at no the same, same time as the tear away, but it doesn't matter. They get him anyway. Quinn's Quinn going it. for it. going for it. Can they do the damage? Can they do the damage? Try to finish it up. The damage dealers are gone. They don't have their heroes. They don't it's have the buybacks. It's not enough. They hold unless Ace can pull a miracle out of his ass. He's making a run for it. He's not going to make it out. And Ame. Book of Shadows. Ame's going for the Ancient. You flee dire side, but your home is in trouble. How was it Ame not and enough? XM will finish it up. They'll take the Ancient. How did it go so wrong? You pull it back from a 30 minute Megas for this. 30, what was it, like 34 minute Megas? What?